Welcome back. East Mississippi Community College's Golden Triangle Campus is powering up a new program. Thanks in part to a grant from Accelerate MS, the campus has started the Utility Line Worker Program. The goal is to provide local training for jobs with local openings. That's right. Our Keely Shields joined the campus's first class of students to learn more about the program and what it takes to be a lineman. And she joins us live from East Mississippi's Golden Triangle Campus. Keely. If you can't tell, I'm in the middle of the training field where line worker students learned how to set poles and tie wire today. 14 people from across the area are part of East Mississippi Golden Triangle Campus's first utility line worker program. With just a semester of classes and endless opportunities, the program is looking to light the way for our future linemen. I chose the lineman program because this career uh, provides a bunch of opportunities. Noah Hatcher has seen up close what it's like to be a lineman. He's following in his brother's footsteps and joining 13 other students from across the area in the first class of EMCC Golden Triangle Campus's utility line worker program. From what my brother says, it's a dangerous job and you got to be really on top of your game and uh, just being away from home, working through the night or whatever it takes to get the lights on. Line worker instructor Bill Buckner has more than 20 years of experience behind the lines. So far, he's starting the rookies off with the basic. We've gone to uh, setting some short poles, learning how to tie in some wire, pull some wire, learning some uh, materials, uh, tools, different tools they'll be using. And then we've gone to setting some 40-foot poles, getting ready to climb starting Monday. The school was able to start the program using a grant of more than $473,000 from Accelerate MS. The goal is to provide local training opportunities to fill local job openings. After just a semester of classes, students will be prepared for entry-level work at a utility company, co-op, or contractor in utility construction or excavation fields. There's plenty of opportunity. Uh, this year, uh, I know 23,500 linemen were needed to be hired in the year 2023, and that number is expected to grow by 9-10% by 2026, so there's jobs out all across the United States. Buckner says it's important that he prepares his students for the reality of the job and that they are the ones responsible for lighting a dark day. There's always going to be a tornado, there's always going to be a hurricane, there's always going to be a thunderstorm, you know, and, and when you go out and these people are standing out in their, in their yard and our, every light's off in the house in the neighborhood and when the lights come back on, you know, everybody, you know, thank you so much, thank you so much, and they're genuine in those thank yous, you know, and it makes you feel good, you know, and it makes it worth it. Next up for students is to learn how to climb these poles here behind me, but we're going to leave that up to them. Reporting live in Lowndes County, Keeley Shields, WCBI News.